Welcome back to Repair, Restore, and Resell. Uh, today I'm working on this uh, Toro, uh, I think it's a Model 1000 or something, uh, snowblower. It's a single stage unit and uh, the uh, paddle over here on the right side was, uh, was bent. And I got that straightened out uh, by putting uh, a 15 inch uh, crescent wrench on the blade on the auger and working it around and getting it mostly straightened up, straightened up well enough that it doesn't need replacement. Uh, the customer does want the rubber uh, paddles re replaced on it and those have come in. Um, what happened to this snowblower is uh, for those of you who don't know what a curb box is, a curb box is uh, usually uh, a piece of vertical cast iron pipe sunk down into the ground and it goes down to uh, down to a shutoff valve that comes from the city water main to shut off water to a house and to shut off that valve that's about four feet down uh, because it's got to be down below the freeze line or frost line uh, they have what's called a curb box key which is a, a, a long t-handle wrench that's like four feet long or better and if the if the water main won't shut off in the house or something happens between the uh, water main and the house, then the water company comes out here and, or your your plumber and they take the cap off the stick their curb box key down in there and shut the water off to the to the property. Um, and those those curb boxes are supposed to be flush with grade well this customer his curb box sticks up about two inches above his driveway for god only knows what reason i guess uh somebody didn't get their measurements right so uh anyway he found it with the snow blower and he bent this right side uh auger and I managed to get the uh, to get it straightened out with a with a 15 inch uh, crescent wrench by working it around and and it's straightened out well enough that uh, it doesn't need replacing. Uh, he does, however, want the uh, rubber paddles here replaced. Those have come in, so uh, we're going to be replacing those. I've already done an oil change and spark plug on it, uh, and uh, also the edges of the augers are uh, kind of chewed up and, and have very sharp burrs on them from contacting the asphalt. Uh, this type of snowblower, the uh, the the skid shoes on the out, on the edge of the uh, scoop were adjusted all the way up so it was as low as possible and then what happens is if you lift up on the handles a little bit it allows the uh, augers to to grind against the ground against the asphalt and that's what's happened to this one <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, replace the rubber paddles deeper those uh, augers a little bit so somebody's less likely to rip their hand open on them if they go to clean some snow out of this or whatever uh, so that that's where we're at
So, uh, these are these are held in with uh, carriage bolts with uh, seven sixteenths nuts on them. They're uh, nylock nuts or aviation nuts or whatever you choose to call them. They have the uh, nylon locking insert inside of them to keep them from uh, vibrating loose. So you've got your uh, rubber rubber flapper and the uh, backup backup plate. Let me get the new one and we'll get that uh, set up to go on there. Okay, so I've got the first uh, rubber paddle uh, started. So I'm just going to snug up the uh, bolts on that. And then we'll move to the other one and uh, deburr it. Yep, they're all good. So now we'll get the, uh, bring it around to get the second one swapped out. So, um, yeah, I, I explained as best I can uh, what a curb box is, but if you can't picture that, um, and here's the bolts that hold the sun, they're carriage bolts, they have a square, a square, uh, Underneath the un, underneath the round head, so that they grab in here. Uh, you could probably go over to uh, uh, Google Images and type in uh, curb box uh, or wa water curb box. You could type in uh, curb box key, and you'll have a better 
you know, a better idea what they are. Uh, you know, what they say a picture is worth a thousand words. But, uh, like I said, they're not, they're, they're not supposed to be uh, standing above grade. But this, this gentleman, his, his stands above grade. get this back because today is uh, Saturday and we're supposed to be getting a snowstorm on uh, Monday so it is uh, Saturday the uh, 30th I guess it is January January 30th Okay, so that takes care of that. Let me grab the uh, deburring tool and we'll get these uh, auger I just cleaned up. Okay, so for deburring these uh, augers, I'm going to be using uh, a 90 degree uh, air operated die grinder and uh, a Rolock uh, sanding disc. And this is the, this is the, for those of you who aren't familiar with Rolock, some people call them a cookie wheel, some call them a Rolock disc. Rolock, I'm pretty sure, is a 3M company. They're, they're not a sponsor. They're just something I've, I've always used. This is the mandrel form. And then they have a, uh, a flapper sanding disc. They have uh, scotch bright pads in uh, various uh, um, aggress coarsenesses or aggressiveness, and they have flat um, flat discs in various grits. So, and they have other things as well. These are just <clears throat> the only three three that I have for it. And they're, they're nice, they're quick change. Um, they've got a uh, a coarse thread on the back of them and all you do is is just give it uh, about a half a turn and it's, and it's locked on. You know, when that's worn out 
you just uh, turn it the opposite way and it pops right off you pop on a new disc and uh, you're good to go and all, all their stuff fits right on the mandrel the same way so let me, let me mount this back in the uh, die grinder and we'll start uh, deburring Okay, so I'm going to bur uh, debur this a little bit. I'm not going to do it all on camera because uh, I built up a, uh, a tank of air and then I shut off the uh, compressor because I'm working right over by the compressor and it's it, it gets pretty loud on camera. So I'm just going to uh, do some of this. Uh, and then I'm going to turn the compressor back on and finish it up off camera. But uh, I've got the uh, flat flapper uh, wheel in here first. And I'm going to try that. Um, see how that one does. That did that did really well. It took the uh, took the sharp edge right off.
me see if I can get a kind of a close up of uh, these other ones before I uh, deburr them. Uh, so you can see what what we're looking at here. Okay, we'll get some done on the other side over here. get one of these though uh, there there's a million and one uses for them. the scotch bright pads are good for uh, uh, gasket removal uh, you have to be careful though if you're removing gaskets off uh, an aluminum surface uh, because they will uh, if you hover in one spot they will they will chew into the uh, aluminum um, but other than that, uh, you know, as long as you don't apply too much pressure and you keep moving, uh, they, they work very well. cordless drill also they're they're a little a little harder to handle uh, in a drill though they they, they kind of want to bounce you around like a uh, I don't know if you've ever put a wire wheel in a drill but they uh, they kind of want to jump all over the place I've got a straight uh, air grinder too, die grinder and uh, that one um, isn't very good for this the angle one is much better the, ang the angle one just gives you a whole lot a whole lot better control over it
feels pretty good. I mean, it, I'm not going to get it perfect, but it's 90% better than what it was. So uh, I guess we're just going to, uh, well, I've got some more over here I want to get. I just noticed this one up here is pretty, pretty tore up. This this area right in here, uh, I think that's that's one of the spots that actually hit the uh, the curb box. So let me see if we can get that one smoothed out a little bit. I'm starting to run out of air, so I'm going to have to uh, shut off the camera and let the compressor build up some more air. I'm surprised I got that far on, uh, on a tank full of air.